So if you're lucky enough to use Microsoft Outlook and your company allows you to install add-ins, then actually using the diary detox method can be really quick and simple for you because there's a diary detox Outlook add-in. And what that will do is it will make sure that all of the categories exist in your master category list. I'll explain all that, don't worry. And also when you want to assign a category, it'll give you a panel that helps you to decide which category your meeting is or your appointment is, and it will select that category for you. Okay, exciting stuff. So here's an example of how you install. So just to let you know, if we were to click on a meeting right now and select categorize, then you've got some default categories there. It's got the blue category, green category, orange category, purple, red, and yellow. Now those are not the official Diary Detox categories. We want to create them. So to do that, we install the add-in. So in the top right-hand corner of the Outlook window, you've got the file menu. If you press that, and if I just get myself out of the way, you can press the button Manage Add-ins. Now, depending on how your Outlook is configured, it might open another window straight away with the um, with the add-ins manager, or it'll open up a web version, but ultimately it will end up opening up the add-ins for Outlook window, okay, like it has here. So here you've got a search bar in the top right-hand corner. So if you click on that and type diary, you should see the diary detox add-in for Outlook. So if we press on that, it'll give you an overview of what the add-in is and any other additional information that you need. Just to let you know, it doesn't access or transmit any of your data anywhere. Anything you do stays on your machine, okay? So don't worry about that. So in the top left-hand corner of this window, now you've got the button that says Add. So if you press the Add button, it will hopefully add it, tell you that it's added it and give you a little bit of information to get started. Now, we're just gonna close that down now close that down and close down this web version of Outlook that opened at the same time. It gets us back to the screen where we pressed manage add-ins. So if we press back, that takes us back to our Outlook. And if we now double click on our meeting, we should see that the meeting opens and in the ribbon at the top here, you'll see a diary detox button, okay? So again, if we open the categorize button here, it just says all the default categories within Outlook. But as soon as we press the Diary Detox button, it'll open up a panel. Now it might take a little bit longer for you to start with the first time, but it will then create each of these categories. Okay, now if we now press the Categorize button, you'll see that all of the categories for Outlook for Diary Detox have been added. It's still going to leave the old ones there, you don't need to use those, but it's added the ones that we need for the Diary Detox method. So this meeting, I've opened up the panel and on the right hand side, you can see that floating is selected by default. Now that's correct because until we know the value of a meeting, it is floating by default. So that's what Diary Detox add-in will do. It'll select floating. And in the top left hand corner here, just above the save and close button, you'll see that the floating category has already been assigned in conjunction with that radio button. Now, if you decide that you want to select the correct category, then these categories are actually in the correct order from top to bottom. So when you open this up, the first thing you should be saying is, now for me, this is a meeting where I'm gonna be checking on the status of a project, okay? So we start at the top and we say, okay, is the majority of time spent looking after my, my mental, physical, emotional well-being? No, it's not. So it's not that one. So we come to the next one. Is the majority of time spent adding no value or not being sure what value you're adding? No, it's not that one. So we come to the next one. Is the majority of time spent considering vision, strategy, a long-term plan, or how to overcome obstacles? No, I mean, we hope the project will do that, but that's not really what the point of this meeting is. So the next one, the majority of time is spent sharing new ideas or meeting new people within or outside your organization. We might do some of that, but that's not what the majority of time is. Is the majority of time spent learning something, teaching someone where it's not part of your team's role or improving your organization? Well, again, we hope that, that the project will do that, but that's not the real point of this meeting. The majority of time is spent checking in with people and things to make sure they're as they should be. Yes, they are. So we press that radio button and we'll notice that the monitoring category has been assigned. And once we press save and close, we'll see that the meeting has changed to Amber. That is how you install the Diary Detox add-in and that is how you use it. Good luck.